KwaZulu Natal now back to Gauteng. Midrand, this in Johannesburg, is one of the areas hardest hit by the ongoing water shortages. Residents there have been without water for nearly two weeks now. And our reporter, Ian Sears, Heidi Jockers, joins me for an update. Heidi, good to have you back. Now, you've been speaking to residents thus far about you know, how water shortages have been affecting them. What have they been telling you? Yes, I think the situation is rather dire, uh, Tumelo. As much as water has been resor restored in some parts of Midrand, um, the fact that they had no water for over eight days is rather concerning, and residents are really at their wit's end. They feel as though um, this should have been better communicated. It should have also been communicated to them as to why the water has um, not been restored um, and it, why it has not been communicated. You're probably wondering why I'm outside a police station um, but we've actually been told by residents and by the ward councillor that in fact this police station was not operating um, last week because of the water um, the fact that the police station did not have water and basically officers were saying well we can't have a functioning um, police station without water um, but we do know that the police station is currently now uh, operating, um, but for a couple of days it actually closed because there was just no water supply and police officers obviously saying it's very difficult for them to work in an environment where there is no water. So it just goes to show you the impact of there being no water supply. For example, police stations, um, some of the um, community members and residents that we spoke to earlier on at Tumela were saying they couldn't send their children to school because um, there was no water and uh, you can only imagine what's happening at clinics and hospitals in the area as well. So it's of grave concern and residents are saying that enough is enough and they need to understand what the actual problem is. Let's listen to what some residents had to say to us earlier. We've been without water for about five days. The difficulty is that I think so the biggest problem is information. Uh, nobody is telling us when will the water be cut off? When will the water be back? And the other difficulty is children going to school without, uh, uh, without any water. Well, it's affecting me in such a way I can't go and carry a water tank. It's very heavy, not at my age anyway, and my back problem. Um, other than that, you know, it, yes, it's, 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 I don't think it's right that we are without water. We should actually have that, have had that sorted out. But the messages, as was said earlier on, coming through was just garble because you didn't know from one day to the next when was the water going to come back. Yeah, we all have been struggling without water. Um, I haven't had water for, I, for five days. Um, he's my neighbour, so it was the same situation. Yeah. And uh, my kids couldn't go to school. I've got one in primary, one in high school, and right now this is the middle of assessments. And if they can't, um, if they can't go to school, uh, when are they going to do the assessments? Where they're going to be closing next week on Friday, so it's going to be very tight uh, for for schools now to go back and administer assessments to learners. Uh, it affects preparations. Our routines have been disrupted. No, it's difficult because we didn't have water for five days. No bathing, no doing washings. No cooking, no dishes, and the school children, they don't have water to bath, mm -hmm. so it's difficult for us. It's like, like you can't even do any uh, your daily routines or you can't cook your food and uh, that is the main thing, like uh, a few residents have uh, dogs and like, like uh, it's not only humans, it's, uh, it's uh, they have, somebody have a pets and they can't uh, um, uh, look after their pets because they can't give them water or anything, like uh, it's, it's, it's very frustrating like uh, if you don't have uh, like uh, one day for it's manageable. All right, that's where we leave it, Heidi Jockers. Our ENC reporter, Heidi Jockers, out of Midrand, tracking through water shortages and its impact, negative impact at that, on residents.